Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Kadish here, author of the Earthman Jack Space Saga. Go check it out on Amazon. Today we have some really interesting uh, speculative news, not only on the video game front, but also on the movie slash TV slash entertainment front. And uh, this is kind of exciting, I guess, uh, depending on how you feel about Disney. But basically, um, this is an article at PC Gamer that poses the question, uh, should... Activision Blizzard be bought out by Disney. And uh, I know some of you are probably uh, quaking in your boots if you're a World of Warcraft fan because Disney already owns like half the world. And so uh, if, if they get their hands on Warcraft and Blizzard, who knows what they can do with it. But uh, in this article by Fraser Brown, it says a Disney investor thinks it should acquire Activision Blizzard, but it wouldn't be cheap. Disney has not so slowly been gobbling up the world of entertainment, placing countless companies and universes into the House of Mouse. One investor reckons it should now add Activision Blizzard to the list, suggesting that esports would be a good fit for Disney's networks, Disney's TV networks. I briefly allowed myself to imagine Blizzard getting the Star Wars license, but as interesting a prospect as that could be, letting Disney monopolize another industry probably isn't a great idea. With Activision share prices dropping over the last few months, however, investment company Gerber Kowalski Incorporated thinks now is the time for it to get snatched up. Gerber Kowalski Inc.'s Nick Licurious, God, that sounds like a supervillain name, uh, Nick Licurious told Bloomberg that it's an ideal time for Disney to make the acquisition, with the streets video game land allegedly paved with gold. The company owns over 22 million shares worth of Disney and 4.3 million in Activision. Disney has already dabbled in games, but it's had more success licensing its properties to publishers like EA, which has held on to the Star Wars license for years. Acquiring Activision could give it a large list of talented studios that would prob probably be eager to root around in its big box of universes. Activision is currently valued at around $37 billion, so it's still pretty steep. Lucasfilm only costs Disney $4 billion. Only. All right, so... Let's unpack this a little bit. Uh, basically, Activision has not been doing well on Wall Street lately. Their, their stock price has been going down. And because of that, um, analysts are saying, like, now might be the time to kind of swoop in and scoop them up if you're looking to acquire a uh, video game company. Uh, now, Activision has been taking a lot of flack lately uh, for their kind of business practices. They're not quite as bad as EA, but they're still pretty bad. Uh, they kind of ran Destiny into the ground, and people don't like what they're doing with Blizzard, which has been kind of like a uh, one of the biggest video game companies that actually had integrity for quite a long time, and it looks like that integrity is slowly being chipped away as uh, Activision kind of comes in and restructures them. So a lot of the old Blizzard staff is leaving, leaving um, which means that uh, this is not the same Activision Blizzard, or not the same Blizzard that we've all grown up loving it's a very different uh, beast, and it's changing regularly. Uh, but basically, this uh, investment firm, it owns a lot of stock in Disney, and it also owns a lot of stock in Activision. So it's kind of pushing for a uh, merger of the two. And Disney has been going on an acquisition uh, rampage lately. Like, it, it, it got Star Wars. It got uh, 20th Century Fox. It's just been buying up everything. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that Disney could decide, uh, hey, you know, let's uh, let's get Activision and Blizzard for all their IPs uh, and, uh, you know, uh, make movies out of them, make TV shows out of them, make uh, merchandise and licensing revenue from them and uh, add to our, our already massive portfolio of stuff that we own. Now, the one thing that probably will make sure that this doesn't happen is that um, Bob Iger, the uh, CEO of Disney, basically, ha has publicly said that Disney is not in the business of making games. That seems to be the one kind of uh, aspect of the entertainment industry that Disney just doesn't have any desire to participate in. Uh, I don't really know why that is. I think it's mostly just because Bob Iger himself doesn't understand it, and he's kind of reticent to... Um, uh, kind of step into that pool. But Disney actually makes 
a lot more money and has a lot more, a lot less expense in just licensing out their properties to already existing video game uh, companies. And that's the issue with EA here with the Star Wars license is EA basically pays an exorbitant amount of money to have the um, worldwide exclusive rights to make Star Wars video games. And under that license, EA has done almost nothing with it. Like they've done two Battlefield games. I think they've done a mobile game. Um, but in, in all the years they've had, I think they acquired it in like 2014 or somewhere around that, that time. They've done almost nothing and they've actually created a lot of controversy uh, with their use of loot boxes and uh, kind of anti-consumer uh, things that uh, they've been advocating to try to bilk people out of money. And uh, the Star Wars Battlefront II uh, fiasco was pretty much a great example of that. <clears throat> and at that time, a lot of people were saying that Disney was threatening to, to yank the license away. I don't think that was the case because they're making a lot of money off of that. But I definitely think that Disney did step in and tell EA to kind of clean up its act. Now, the interesting thing about if um, uh, Disney actually acquired Activision Blizzard was that they would then have the ability to make their own Star Wars games. And so my guess is once the uh, contract with EA uh, came set to be renewed, they would probably not choose to renew that and give the Star Wars license to their own in-house people to develop these games. And it would be really interesting to see what the people at Blizzard do with a Star Wars license. I mean, you know, they usually just work on their own stuff, but, you know, it's a Star Wars uh, license, so... Uh, you know, fans are going to want to jump on that, you know, fans who work at Blizzard. So it, it would be an interesting thing, but it would also mean that Disney runs runs Blizzard. And, and by all accounts, they might be even worse than Activision is. So who knows? But, um, you know, that's the one good thing that could come of this if Disney decides to, uh, you know, make this acquisition. But because of Iger's kind of outspoken, like, you know, uh, resistance to entering the video game industry i kind of doubt that this is ever really going to happen so you guys can kind of rest easy but uh, this gerber kowalski or kowalski uh, guy obviously thinks that it could happen but it probably isn't gonna so don't worry about it too much i think uh world of warcraft and warcraft and starcraft and all these games are safe for now but you know uh if disney did do it uh it could be kind of cool to see like a pixar animated overwatch movie or you know a world craft world, world of warcraft tv show on um disney plus or something along those lines it would just the synergy is would be there uh, it's just a question of who'd be kind of overseeing things and how the video games would develop underneath a uh, disney rule so uh but I doubt this is something we're going to have to worry about. Anyway, guys, what do you think of this? Would you like to see Disney acquire Activision Blizzard? Would you like to see Blizzard kind of pull a uh, bungee and go off uh, from Activision and do their own thing once more? Uh, you know, what would you, what Blizzard properties would you like to see turned into TV shows and movies? You know, like, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that in the comments. And if you haven't followed my channel, please do so. I'm trying to do daily updates on uh, all things that I find interesting in pop culture and entertainment. So uh, you guys subscribing and following me and watching my videos means a whole heck of a lot. This is Matthew Kadish and I will catch you guys next time.